Um, let's have a look at the juicing because it's, uh, it's quite interesting, Tom, the juicing, isn't it? Uh, uh, good race last year, uh, even though the form possibly hasn't worked out that well. Uh, and it's got a bit of a boost uh, this week with Pedals Cross switching from the Arkle to the juicing. But is it fair to suggest that perhaps all is not well in the Pedals Cross camp? Well, that's what I've been hearing. I've been hearing, I mean, look, this is his horse that was second in the champion hurdle. If he was, if he was spot on, he'd be running in the Arkle. Absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, I'm getting the vibes that Jason Maguire isn't very happy with him at the moment. Uh, he's a short price for this. I think, he, I think he'll do well to finish myself. I think, I think there's something seriously wrong with him. I think there's vibes going around that he's got problems with his wind and things like that. He's not for me, Peddler's Cross. Okay. Um, Willie, you have a couple, obviously, in the juicing. Um, and uh, they're also committed, I suppose, to the RSA at the moment. Um, will you be waiting until next week, as with the other multiple entries? We, we'll wait, but, I mean, we're, we're hearing a lot of those vibes about Peddler's Cross, and that certainly makes the juicing very... Um, uh, a race that might be easier to go for at the moment, anyhow. Okay. Um, Davey, I'm not sure what that means for you. As you look at... Um I have to. Um, I, I would disregard Pedler's Cross for me because he um, he he has anybody that's changing their mind like that late on. There must be issues. So you know, for me, he's an unworthy favourite, and um, I just hope that either one of ours runs in this. I don't really care which one, but one of them, please. <laughs> Uh, a small prayer from Davy there. Anthony, um, on Nicky Henderson's stable tour before uh, Chetlam, he gave quite a strong mention to Solix in this and reckons he will be there or thereabouts. Yeah, he wouldn't be everyone's tip, but they are pleased with him. That is genuinely true. I mean, the last couple of weeks he's really blossomed and they're very, very happy with Solix's chances. Uh, Michael Buckley had a great looking budget horse at the beginning of the season. It's not looking so sharp now with spirits on out and things, but. Um, he still goes there with Finian's Rainbow and, um, and Solix, they, they think, has got a, a, a big shout. Um, I, Paul's very keen on Crystal Bonus. Um, and I also quite like the, the form lines of four non-stop. You can't really knock his form lines. And if Alpha Roth's going to run a blinder in the Arkle, um, they, you know, a couple of days earlier, then that's a big, big thing for, for non-stop. If for non-stop was trained by Paul Nichols, I'm sure it'd be half the price, you know. But he's trained by Nick Williams, but he's... He's a good horse, I think. Should he not go for the RSA? I, I'm sure he's going for the juicing. No, but sh should he not go for the RSA? Is he not a slow horse? He's by Alderbrook. His pedigree was just, he's very slow. I don't know. When he, he, he was two and a half at Newbury, and I mean, you've got to stay quite well at Cheltenham, haven't you, really? Okay, thanks, Anthony. Uh, Potty, it's terrible the way bookmakers sponsor all these nights, and then send a representative up on stage, and then they get, just get bullied for three hours. Uh, but what price a Jigginstown winner of the juicing? Um... Uh, sure, if Willie just told us he was running him, it would make it an awful lot easier. But um, uh, Gigginstown winner, sure. I don't think they've, uh, they actually have a whole pile outside of Sir de Champs in it. Um, so, just whatever price he is, is basically the answer. And Six first, to one. First lieutenant? Well, I don't think first lieutenant will go. I think he's going to go on the Sun Alliance. But I suppose it's non runner, no bet. So, if you wanted a price, the two of them combined. Um, you'd be looking at, I'd say first lieutenant would be favoured if he ran it, to be honest with you. Um, you'd be looking at 7 to 2. That would be generous now. 7 to 2, Jigginstown winner. Tom, you've tipped up um, first lieutenant, obviously, for, for the RSA. Uh, how disappointed would you be if you, if you ran in this? Would you give him a chance? I'd be very disappointed, yeah. My missus would be even more disappointed. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd give him a great chance. I mean, just sitting here, standing here, I think uh, Willie might change his mind and run Sir de Champ in this because I think he's going to sit here and think, you know, this isn't a very good race. Crystal Bonus is going to be favourite. Now, he's a good horse, but he's not a good, great horse. In the other race, you've got Grand Cru, First Lieutenant, and the others. Uh, my feeling is that Sir de Champ might actually end up in this race because the, the, it's, it's, while it's a good race, it's not, not like the RSA, and that's his best chance of winning. You think Ireland's champion trainer, the leading trainer of the Cheltenham Festival oh, well, last yeah, year, yeah. comes to Cheltenham preview night to be told where to run his horses? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, good God.